Hello guys, uh, welcome to JBoss EOP7 and my name is Veera. Today we are going to look into this topic called uh, JMS. Okay, so JBoss EOP7 have a inbuilt queue called uh, ActiveMQ. Earlier versions we have uh, a Hornet queue. JBoss EOP6 having a Hornet queue. In EOP7 we have an ActiveMQ. Okay. So today we are going to cover uh, how to add a queue into JBoss and uh, how to send a messages and how to consume the messages and how to view that message from that bin console okay so the, all these actives we are going to see this okay so so this is my jboss server six standard configurations okay so to start this uh, jboss server i need to look at this profile standalone for this is the profile will support the queue with standalone mode and this is a full uh, queue with the cluster okay just we are going with only standalone Okay, we are going to start the server. Standalone. So by default, uh, already there are some queues are available in it. Let's like search for the active queue. Okay. So this is a subsystem active queue. So all the configurations are under here queue configurations. Okay. If you see here, we have already JMS queue name expire key queue, and then we have a DL queue. Okay. If you see these, uh, no, let me just uh, start the. Okay, it's started server. Okay. I will open a browser. Okay. Triple nine zero. Okay, you need to create one uh, management user to log in into this admin console. Okay, I have already created and logged in. So, okay, uh, so this this is how okay. admin admin one two. Three. Okay, so I just created. Just go to runtime standalone server. We are doing only standalone level. Okay, we have active MQ over here. Okay, just to view this. Just view this. Okay, we have two queues. So whatever you're seeing over here, so expiry queue and DL queue. Those two over here, expiry queue and DL queue. So here are the below information will show you. So what is our consumer count and what the messages in JBoss? How many messages are consumed? Is there any messages are scheduled count? So all these will going to show over here. Okay, so we were going to add you know queue and we will send a message to that. Okay, just adding a, a queue, we will uh, no, do it from the XML level directly. Okay. Okay, just I will copy this. Okay, and this. Okay, so I will name it uh, this queue as a testing queue. Okay. So. Okay, then entry I will let me copy paste. Okay. This is Q sorry. Okay. Testing Q. Just close this. Sorry. Okay. So just created a testing queue. No. Okay, let me save this. Okay, just uh, so let me restart again. So we can do this from the you know, command line as well. So that I will go into next. Okay. So that time you know to restart their server. Just we need to reload it immediately. It will get reflect. Okay, so we just started. If you see here, we have a existing DL queue and a expire queue. We added a testing queue. Okay, go to the admin console. You know, maybe refresh. Go back. View. okay so the testing queue came here okay so to sending messages uh, to this queue we need a few details before okay so I have a small code okay and uh, see this code uh, now I'm going to send a message called hello send the connection factory this is so my queue name is uh, testing queue testing queue this is my queue and the, I'm going to send only one message okay this is a user application user okay this is very important without this you cannot send a message okay you need to create one application user in uh, jboss okay that i'm not at created we're going to create it okay so so 
just a okay little bin okay so I have a user just add user.sh uh, application uh, this is application user not management user okay so admin user and password is also admin123 the guest you should give a role as a guest if you don't give a role no we cannot uh, no, have a permission to send a message so you will throw an error, error okay 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 done okay so my uh, so i created username and password application user okay so this is my host and port of the jboss server okay so let me uh, uh, just compile this very simple uh, program so i'm going to send only one message java application so this is count is one okay okay so send one message currently we are only sending we are not consuming anything okay so click here and just refresh so you got a message into this queue okay this is not yet consumed it still exists in a queue okay so this is the by default uh, uh, it will show you that message into added so this is like a like a buffer okay it will be there until you restart the uh, no if you restart again it will go for zero okay currently we have one message in queue okay this is not yet consumed okay let me add one more so this time i will add two J two messages okay to total three okay j boss just run this so this time i send three so here it will show you a three and here also just three okay okay so three messages still exist in a queue we were not yet consumed okay okay so let me consume all three so when you consume all three it will go for here as zero and it will be remains here is three this is like a so just uh, see uh, currently I have only written only to send a messages okay so let me uh, close this okay just I uh, will enable this so this is only this is only to consume messages okay just so this is consumed from the same queue okay from this queue um, I think it's done refresh okay okay it's consumed uh, two, oh, two messages okay so one message still exists in the queue okay so okay let me run this again okay let's see with content hello okay okay now it's a uh, uh, see this uh, the other messages got consumed okay now okay so this is how you know direct is sending a message and consuming this is like a buffer now it's a, we consumed three messages totally okay if you restart uh, it will go for zero again here okay so this is simple program the, you, know, you can get it uh, you can download it uh, from the, you know, the red hat site uh, they given some you know a tutorial you know, for, for every topic okay this is uh, basic you know just and simple but this is very important if this user doesn't have a guest permissions Okay, you can check it out here okay so standalone configurations so i added application user right application uh, users so i added a user admin this is my user but this user contains the role called uh, okay this should contain the guest role if it doesn't have a guest role you cannot able to send a message into this queue so okay so this is uh, okay so the next uh, let's see this from the same from the console okay let me disable this and i will enable this okay let me send you some more messages okay so i just given a count is two that's why earlier we consumed only two messages okay at maximum can send two at at maximum we consume two okay so let me send two messages and we will consume two messages okay so it is two so it will send to okay so admin console so it's a two so it is added again here two earlier it is the two but this two message still exists in a queue okay so let's go to the admin con uh, no, from command line from this command line we will see okay and jboss dot sh so connect okay just be connected okay let's uh, copy paste okay so message count okay okay 
okay here it will show how many subsystem message active mq server default gms queue and we have all the queues it will show i will give my, our testing queue and uh, it will show you uh, details so you can see uh, these many actives you can able to move you can move messages from one queue to another queue you can move uh, based on the message id and all the messages and you can see the list of messages you know you can do uh, many things over here okay just uh, we are going to see only list okay uh, count messages okay we have our two messages as of now in a queue so that is what uh, here we have two messages in a queue okay so this is around uh, no, two messages it is showing and uh, two messages are there in a queue okay the next uh, the list of messages yeah so this list uh, list messages is there this will show you the message messages okay it will show you the message id over here this is very important when you want to delete a particular message okay i have a two messages currently in it so oh, these are the this is message one and message two each message will contains one message id oh, this is called a message id this is the unique okay across okay uh, if you see uh, okay this is and this is a different you can see here over here this is different this is different so i will trying to delete any one of in this so how to delete this is the based on the you should take this id and you can delete it off okay so i will copy here message id so just this is my message id okay just copy this okay before deleting okay so i need to give my my queue name testing queue and remove messages message id so it is success okay so now let's see a uh, list of messages it is only one now one is called deleted okay list uh, count messages is only one one is deleted okay so just refresh and see so one is got deleted successfully so that will console okay so we can add a queue uh, similarly so okay this is how i'm um, simple uh, from that we can add it up from here okay so i will add some production queue okay just it just reload it okay so if you reload it then refresh just back so the production queue over here so this way you can easily or up send messages consume it you know so okay this is all the basic information about the about jms active mq so the next topic we are going to cover how to make this uh, jms uh, queue uh, no sorry uh, active mq this jms how to make the cluster so when we have a cluster in environment when you send uh, your 100 messages so how this 100 message is going to you know separate and you know, are going to uh, share all these messages across the cluster of uh, jms jbo servers that is going to cover in the next topics so, okay guys so this is how the basic about the uh, jms introduction okay thanks for watching this video